Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gongsunzan campaign. We pick things up for episode 22 from turn 119 in the spring season of 214. So, uh, we did pretty much everything we need to do in spring. We did the faction councils, uh, we did our reforms, and I think we're currently on a break from spies because they're all coming back. So we need uh, to wait for the next round, need to do some defeats, get some more turncoats, and also Sun Quan's on his last leg. We have a siege set up. I don't know if he's going to come out and challenge us during the end turn. It's likely, uh, given that he might think he's stronger than us right now, which will be nice because they will make the siege a lot quicker. Uh, we have a backup army coming uh, regardless. And uh, aside from that, uh, once we get this cleared, we already took out uh, Nan. So Sun Quan will be dead. Uh, he would have some loose armies on the field. Um, they would be quickly destroyed. And we're looking to uh, sweep across, uh, move north into the Central Plains. So that's kind of the goal right now. Uh, we beat them once, we can chase them again, or we can keep them and let them improve our public order. I'm probably going to let them stay alive and uh, shift the army more towards Huainan so that we can retake our livestock and finish off uh, Kongzhou before we finish off Cao Pi, actually. We're looking to eliminate factions uh, to take off the stress from our... Uh, basically, this is total war. Uh, Tao Ying is also going to be pushed back as well. We're just going to close in on Liu Bei, or actually uh, Shu Han. Liu Bei is long dead. So that's all the armies. Uh, we still have quite a bit of money to take care of our uh, buildings. That's kind of the goal now. Uh, we are trying to do something cheeky with the marketplace. There is this apparent bug right now where if you build the spy branch, uh, which is this one, you can build another marketplace. And given that we have so much uh, commerce here in Changsha, that would be uh, pretty epic. So we're going to try that. So I'm not going to upgrade this anymore. Uh, Yijou probably don't need to level up, given that population still not close to being maximum. Everywhere, uh, everywhere else, though, um, I mean, we're going to just build things up as we see fit. We might rush a few buildings. That might be the only thing we are considering here. Because there's really no point to sit on so much cash. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna rush a few things. Um, there is no development potential here if we rush this. This we can uh, rush. That way we open up another build, and what we would want here would be first corruption reduction, uh, which I think would be pretty nice to be rushed up. There we go. Uh, it will help everywhere around it as well. So pretty essential to get that up first. I think we might be getting rid of the tax building. It's not really beneficial, especially after we build the tax um, at the state workshop since this gave the discount. So now we get rid of that. We sweep it to probably a conscription building to give us more deployment, uh, seasonal deployment per turn. And we're out of cash, so that went pretty swell. And uh, another round of defense. This time Zhao Yun's going to be holding down Lu Jiang. Maybe we get more capture chance because he is much higher level and also he has patience. Uh, we don't have a shaman item, unfortunately. If we did, that would be very helpful too. Um, he can probably also hold on to a better item. Although, what would be a better item for him? Hmm. Nothing really. I mean, he could use a bow, but not like he's going to be in combat. So I guess we'll pass on that. All right, let's uh, proceed. And Jolyon gets busy right away. Oh, that one's so close to being able to delegate. Um, we have so many more manpower than them <laughs> with a level 5 fishing port, I believe. Um, they have two armies, but they're all really spent. Should we actually just fight them? Hmm, well consider it. Let's jump in. Let's actually think about actually fighting them with this army with just Zhao Yun. I mean, and the towers. Towers always helps. Alrighty, it's actually a foggy day, which is actually pretty good for just running away and hiding. So strangely, you see here, the encampment tower is not upgraded. So it might have something to do with the level of the commandery you set up the encampment in. Because... He was previously in the county of Lujiang, right now he's in a fishing port. I'm just curious to see the difference here, but um, 
Anyways, we'll just put that up there. I mean, the weaker tower obviously isn't so great. I mean, no one's gonna want to duel us. They all have almost no health. Where's they all? They all over here? Yeah, I'm not gonna call them back. I might just keep them on the field, depending on what happens here. We'll still do this on three time. There's not much that's gonna happen. The fact that we have troops on the field means their range units will also not fire at me. Um, we're not the fastest general in the world because Sentinel's just not super fast without any mobility skills. Um, but we're still okay. All right, they're they're hooked. They're hooked on the loop. Uh, get rid of those melee cows that they have first. That might be the toughest target for us to take care of. Oh, Xiongnu Cavalry with a Raider trait. Ooh. There goes our fort, but if we keep them a little bit farther away and then we kill off a few of them. Oh, they got a general with a, with a bow? Someone's throwing something. Yeah, there we go. Bintan has a bow. I don't want to pull them too close to the settlement anymore. Not before these guys die. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, melee cab's still very, very tough to deal with. Resistance against... they have more? Hmm. Might be pretty hard for us to actually try to win this. Okay, hold on. Let me just run him out. Let me set these boys up. I mean, we can definitely look for a fight maybe here, using the rock to protect one flank. Oh, let me smack you once. Alright, the troops are going to peek. I don't know if they can actually see them. They can't. Okay. I don't want them to, you know, burn down the rest of my encampment. That's not ideal. But I might have to do this cut back here. And to lead them back to my troops. So they get one more... Hmm. I might just cut back. Oh, Yuan Han's gone. Okay, if the generals keep dropping, they might just lose morale. Anyone? Yeah, these cavalries are just too sturdy. Okay, so we're gonna lead them back to our troops for a proper fight. They still have a ton of men. Um, they're willing to throw some of the traps on the ground. That'd be great. Yeah, throw them out. Throw them out. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Still faster than the cavalry. 95 speed versus 105. There we go. The melee ones are annoying, though. No, don't go burn. <laughs> Alright, gonna have to do a proper fight. They're burning my encampment down. Well, all these are elite units with shields. Yeah. I mean, after the Face Divided DLC, the units for Yuan Shao's units definitely got a lot better. It's no longer just these garbage units with no shields. They actually have varieties that have shields with the Northern Army and also the Yet units. Yeah, yeah. Don't bring the cavalry. Don't bring the cavalry. Crossbow. I'm tempted to charge back in, do a smash damage. What happened with you? You came late? I don't see them yet. So I have a couple towers here. Let's soften them up a little. Even though all the cavalry is not here, that might be a good opportunity. Although I kind of wanted the cavalry to charge head first into the spear, that would have been the most beneficial. But if we're not going to get that, we might as well just keep them hovered here for a little bit. Ah, uh, they're just burning everything. Okay, it's time for a proper fight. Let's go. Alright, boys. Ah, uh, these are backups that didn't show up yet. Okay, this is a captain unit. You're... Let's just seal it off right here. Alright, Johnny's gonna have to do a lot of work. We have a smash. Archers. Okay, they're shooting the spear guard, which is beautiful. That's like the one unit we actually want them to shoot at. Return fire. 
Slow down for micro. I think I can sneak over there and take out their range. Yeah, we can just sneak through. Yeah, throw the traps on the ground where you guys have to actually walk through. And then we'll smash these guys or just chase them away, basically. I don't think we have to use that precious smash right here. Um, unless we get into a really good position, because I think we'll just run these guys down. Those rocks going to prevent any sort of side flank. Like, there's just no way the cavalry can actually touch our units right there. Alright, let me go whack him. He's, oh, oh, they got a couple guys here. He's not unbreakable. Trying to lead us to oh, oh, our front line is kind of cracking up. If you guys are in trouble, pull back, and then we'll have a second line of defense. You two flank out. Draw in, take care of all the range threats. Last range unit. Ah, Jordan's gonna have to do this himself. Go back in, smash from behind, clear out their elite infantry. You guys take care of that. You guys take care of that. Try to regroup right here. Jordan's in too far. Wanna smash? Wanna smash? In a good area. Get in here. I'll take that smash. We'll just clear a little zone here. That's good enough. Alright, they stabilize. You guys go take care of them. Go grab that. Oh, he got a full heal off that? You're that good of a friend? I'm going to dismount for attack speed. I'm going to go kill him. Look at us doing quick work here. Whack, whack, come on. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Focus on him. There we go. Two cuts. Three cuts. Get cut once. Two. Three. One. Two, three, yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna die. What a damage dealer. And now almost got us. Impressed. That was close, that gold weapon. Anyways, we won. Yeah, he had the Othorn and I think another buff, both active, and he was just dishing out damage. Oh, we'll try for fondness. Uh, we have a Yuan family member thinking about joining us. She does bring quite a bit of unit. The problem is she is herself a strategist. Oh, he rerolled the burn trait. Oh. Hmm. Xiongnu Cav. Oh, these are nice units. Okay, I'll take him. And... We'll take her as well. Alright, now that Zhao almost has no health, uh, they feel confident in beating us. Uh, little do they know they're gonna lose, and we're gonna show them how. Alrighty, so we are obviously not in a great shape to do any fighting. Uh, their range unit actually will fire at us since there's no backup. They did night battle. Um, we'll still charge out in the front though, just to pull them away from the buildings. They have fire arrows, as you can see here, so it would be nice if they're focused on me and not the building. One, the general's already died. Okay, that's pretty simple. Yeah, I don't know how they expect to win this. Is she unbreakable? No. Okay. 
I guess good night. I mean, I'm not gonna turn around and take extra damage for no reason. Towers got this. Route? There we go. See if we capture any of them. Alrighty. It's still um, Kingdom of Sun's army, or uh, Duchy of Sun. Right, they, they didn't become a kingdom, unfortunately. Hmm, maybe just for this unit? Yeah, sure, we'll take her. And Sun Quan, uh, so this might not be his only army because Sun Quan's also somewhere nearby, right? Uh, because we're so low health, everyone thinks they can beat us, and uh, we don't have to show this one. You guys know how this is going to end. Alrighty, so another army falls to the wayside. Hopefully they actually get eliminated because we want to end the Kingdom of War. And of course, Surin's army is going to give it a shot as well. They also had night battle. This one we just have to go hide. I don't think we can actually wipe them out. But maybe. They're, they're really weak too. Um, there is fire arrow, so they could burn down the town. Um, and I don't want to get caught by anyone. But let's see what happens. Alrighty. Capture, please. Heroic victory. Another chance for us to get fondness on him. And of course... Zhang Yan's army wants to try, even though, uh, I mean, they're healthy for this one. That's one thing they have for them, but that's not really an army now, is it? Alrighty. So we beat them back. We used the actual garrison, did some fighting, and we caught a few of their generals. Um, not that interested. I think we'll just take the money. All right, we're getting hit with supply being destroyed, cousin on cousin action there. And we got a new vassal joining a war against the Naman, more supply being destroyed. Nothing against our cities, which is great. That's usually what I hate. Ooh, a thief, but not the right side of the skill tree. Called out with the master historian background. Um, a tad old. Not a huge fan. And let's see what items. Clay Rat. That army's running around now. We have a force down below. I'm not so worried about the rebels. I think I'm more worried about this. Because it feels like they're coming for our weapon craftsmen. But maybe the solution is just we send out an army over here. I was going to give him one of the poison volley ladies. And maybe they have a strategist that's willing to work together with them. Maybe our new... This is probably Lady Leo's daughter. Although she's much higher level. And the unit's actually slightly better. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, ideally, she passed those units on. That means we have to get her killed. Uh, it's a little bit sad, but that might be what we end up doing. And since we are fighting the Nanman troops... I think perhaps keeping that um, Juggernaut might be in our benefit. We definitely don't want any mounted archers. Like with our faction, we probably, you know, can't afford our own unique unit much better than that. Um, we're going to actually need some sort of front line, I guess. Um, hmm. Debatable. Maybe he's the frontline guy, because he can have access to these units to protect them. Oh, we need turtle formation to protect them, but he's not going to get... Well, I guess he can get spear guards. He needs four. Three might be able to cover... Okay, maybe we don't want that many. There we go. Then we just need two, and that means I can get one more of these. Alright, that's better. And they can heal up 
pretty quickly. Uh, at least into fighting shapes to take care of them so I don't have to actually go back. That would probably be best. Because I am going to go hunt down to the north. There's stuff for us to do. People to kill. Places to see. I'm gonna be gearing that way. Oh, items, right. Hmm. I guess you can keep that. I think I have a. Yeah, I have a lot of clothing. Ooh, we got a fort master? When did this happen? Okay, that's definitely going on one of our leader positions. Uh, not us, but maybe... Let's see, who could use it the most? He's on the field right now. Who else is available? Maybe Yan Bai Hu. Maybe Tai Shi Tzu. Both can work. We go down. Mm, Taoist monk. Everyone's boosting public order. Ah, he's doing the eunuch anti-corruption. That's okay. That's not a bad move. And he's doing public order with martial law. I think I want income. Give him more combat stat here. We lose about two points of public order. Shouldn't be a big difference. Like, you know, if we have reserve issue, that's actually going to bounce back. Now that we don't get hit this time. Rush reduction. Actually, let's focus on military first before we do all the build out. Zhao Yun might need to be swapped out. He is pretty hurt, but I think he actually he's fine. It's better to get all the capture rate. These are all loose armies. Our main forces, they need to turn to heal. We don't. Go back them up. They just have to stand in the county. There's some archers in the garrison. It will make them completely useless, which is kind of our purpose here. Are you serious? We don't have enough movement for that? Ah, that is very unfortunate. I guess we have to wait a turn here before we can wipe out Tai Mao entirely. I mean, he has his army moving back, but that's kind of a waste. How aggressive can we posture? Ooh, heavy repeating crossbowmen. Don't see that every day. Um, well, it looks like we might just fight this big siege. Which one first? I think we do this first. The siege is probably a good ending place to wipe out, you know, Sun Quan. He might run away. Yep, they're scared. As they should be. Sun Quan's army has escaped. That siege is going to be pointless. Uh, they're trying to take a... Are they trying to swap places with us by taking a fishing port? Well, Lady Liu can be proxied out here to set up a, a little camp to make sure that Sun Quan is coming to his doom. Either way, this way he can't just, you know, steal our fishing port while we take his main uh, capital here. But this play means this is going to be a delegate fight. Like, they left with nothing. Bit anti-climatic here, but he escaped, so what can we do about that? And we got a would-be assassin, except we have both strong and brave as our trait. So we can deflect the bow and actually uh, deflect the blow and get famous trait or uh, famous effect for a couple of turns here. Because, you know, we have amazing leader here. Let's fix it up. Let's fix it up. Uh, labor, probably keeping that. Gonna swap this to T. Not gonna change that. Going to get an administrator in here. So, I think I can swap to someone who's better at it, or I can just take one of these easier ones and don't do the flip flop 
that would take a long time. Uh, most of this commander is built up, so we don't have to do too much here. Ooh, she looks like she has an extra trait here. Just gotta make sure she's actually suitable. Yes, Stern, which is the extra trait, and she can pick this up. Okay, I think we'll take her. Not not the best, off course, but like not bad. Wow, we don't have anything. We're out of good items for administrators. Oh wow. Um. Okay, I guess you get nothing. It's nothing that can help you. Uh, but you will be a pretty good administrator. Decent, not not super good, but decent. Chempu has items. That's why he has a builder probably. Yeah, I think you'll do fine. Alright. So as we see here, we did get a couple of general come over to us. Alright, we'll let you hold on to these. We'll let you hold on to these. Maybe give you a slightly better horse. Kind of tempted to maybe give him the Colonel of the Northern Army or someone. So basically our spies have returned, so any new potential candidates here? Nope. No turncoats whatsoever. That's fine. We're gonna push out a second army here in Hefei using the generals we just received. Chenpool's units, some of them will come ready. That's our deployment limit, unfortunately. Now these we'll get rid of. And since he's rank 6, he's going to get our faction unique unit. We'll keep the two cavalry from, you know, Sun Jian's faction. Those are nice, too. And we'll flush out this army next time. And Yue Jin will get his army, too. So we're going to pump out a lot of armies in the north um, to start taking down all these factions. We'll just make our push everywhere. Emma, who just needs probably one more turn of healing before we move them. And they're going to curl to the west uh, to take on Liu Bei's territory. So I think it might be time for some buildings and then another round of uh, defense. Hmm. Do we want to go any taller? No, I think we can hold off on that. It's got to be built. I can use another six building slot here, so that can be started. Conscription first, and then government support? Yeah, because deployment limit is kind of bad for us right now. Maybe I can even rush that to get to deployment limit, increase this turn. Or plus one more. Uh, we don't have the reform for that. Out of money to upgrade that. That's a bit shameful in terms of how close we are to get another one. Now we can't build anything. Alright, I'm gonna rush this and hopefully be able to build that. No, that's not what we want, is it? Actually, no, that's what we want. There's some commerce here. We can just go triple income build. It's not that bad. All right, that uses all our money. Yes, it is low, but uh, we can overcome that difference right now. Not going to do anything here. Is anyone mad at me? Because I just got a bunch of new generals. Maybe someone disagrees with us. 36... Crushing Defeat still weighing on her. 35. Desire for higher office position. I mean, I guess the easiest solution is just give him a title. He's been pretty nice for us. And it doesn't hurt to give him a title. He has a pretty mixed bag of units. Charge Reflect is pretty default on his group. Extra tower.
I can give two of his units poison arrow, but I don't know how, like, how is that worth it? I guess I can give him terror. I mean, he has fatigue immune on the armor set. It's it's kind of insane, but um. Immune to Scare for his retinue. I might go for that. Goes in line with, you know, hold the line type of thing for his troops. Let's do that. That way we keep him happy. And I think that's all we really need to do here. Alright, let's see what they can throw at us. Sun Quan's already lost his last piece of land, so he should be suiciding into us everywhere. He has one, two, three armies. Sun Quan is on cooldown, so she might bounce back and fight us. That'd be kind of awkward. Yeah, that's all the armies they have, so let's see what they do with them. Ah, Zhao Yun's just too tempting, I guess. They just feel like they can take us. I mean, look at how many men they have, though. Sure. Alrighty, piece of cake. I, they just had no man, I don't know why they try to take us. Alright, Sun Quan suiciding his troops into us, uh, sort of bounce back. Um, we might show this. Actually, there's really no point. Did she learn our Seeker yet? No, she hasn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, not much to show. See you guys at the end. All right, there might be a small problem. Okay, she had one more resource. She, she died. She, oh, she almost died. Ah, oh, so close. Um, we'll release all three. Hope the fondness carries over. Ah, Sun Quan's army going after Lady Liu. He has to suicide all his armies everywhere. So this is just something we'll cut to the end. Alrighty, we're just going to stall him here until an army actually comes by. Oh, or we can start taking his generals. Hmm. Execute. See if he brings up a more interesting one onto the field. Alright, Zhang trying again. Same army. Uh, same result. Should be quick. Alrighty. That was a piece of cake. One ming zhi sheng. And we don't really care. She is probably Zhang daughter. Ooh, fighting each other. Okay, spicy. We got Luo Jun sending an army down. Interesting. So let's see. Are we still at war with everyone? Check. Let's see. Oh, abdicate. We probably want to check that value. Even though I, I'm still debating whether abdicate count as this is total war or not it says technically you don't peace out so i don't know how that would work but we'll see um family trees this is something interesting no grandkids a little bit sad about that time out big family intermarriage with huang huang zhu's family and also yuan shu's family oh this is a sad family tree well, the, these were dead at the start of the game, so this doesn't count. And then is Cao Cao, who I killed. Cao Ren's still there. Cao An's still there. And these are the kids he had. Oh, I guess we killed another one. Killed in action 17. Ooh. And Cao An has a bunch of kids. Cao Pete does not. No wife. What happened to her? Also someone we killed. Yuan Shu was alive in Kongrong's faction. Yuan Xi, Yuan Tan, Yuan Shang. This is probably Wang Lang's daughter. Han Fu's daughter. No wife, but a bunch of kids. A bunch of old kids too. Okay, so these are... so. The girl we got is indeed Lady Liu's daughter, but there's also a bunch of other kids who has already come of age for Yuan Tan and Yuan Xi. Uh, don't really care about Duosi's family tree, Gong Sun Kang, Gong Sun Gong, Xin Zhang. Okay, wow, he's married far away. 
big family tree as well. Lots of kids. Unvoice died of old age. Yeah, nothing too interesting here. Unsways died of old age, most likely. 66. Onzo is still alive. Kuai Liang has taken over the faction. Okay. Domin is faction leader. Okay. <gasps> Our spy was the husband of Sun Ren, so she's single now. I mean, she okay, she's single, but it doesn't really help us. Oh, Cao Cao's widow ended up marrying into Liu Dai's family, Liu Dai's son. Luo Jun married Liu Dai's daughter. Speaking of Luo Jun, adopted and doing well. Ooh, good armor. Okay, nothing too fancy here. Oh, Wang Quan's family, not Wang Long's family, for uh, Yuan Shang's wife. Alright, so I don't really care about that army coming. I'll defend. Time to end Tai Mao's faction in terms of land. And then I guess we're moving towards Huang Zhu's territory. He's probably going to go suicide into our son now. I mean, we could have a chance to capture her in an offensive fight here. He would be still stalled here. I need to recruit an army for him. Alright, we're looking for a strategist. I mean, she could... She's an administrator. She needs a retinue too. Ah! Former co-workers. And... Alright, those units I like. So we'll flip these to our unique ones. Let's you keep these three. Unfortunately, we're not going to keep the axe. They just don't make sense on her. Really thin on front line for this group. A lot of cavalry, uh, but we do have siege weapons on them, so that would help. No flexibility, no reach on anyone, so it doesn't matter who lead here. We can probably give them a better armor and weapon. We have plenty to spare. Alright, so let them heal up for maybe one more turn, and then they can head south and grab this for us. Actually, no, they shouldn't do that. We're going to have this army, which is pretty fast because it's all cavalry. Run over here to wipe out Sun Quan for us, and then they can sail and take the lumber yard. They can just push north already. Um, this is pretty simple. They can take care of both of this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sail for that trade port. Can we land there this turn and attack in the same turn? Nope. All right. You guys get closer, but 
Need to keep them safe. Trying to get the movement. 28%. That's fine. I'll shift them over next turn. And that'll be okay for them. And then we'll just clean the coast. We're going to hug the coast and take out all the coast holdings so that they can't sell down on us. And that'll keep us safe. Um, they're on march now. So we do get this fight. Where do you think you're going? Alright, let's go. Alrighty, so it's our chance to beat them down here. We haven't really fought Coron that much. It's foggy, so we probably need to do a lot of manual shots. I don't like the fact that we're downhill. We could flip the army to the other side. It's definitely not a terrible plan. We'll still be kind of downhill, but it'd be a fun plan in a way. Letting the enemy see getting... I, I want to start by sh shooting at them, so I guess getting in range is fine. Mm, we're going to open up the harassment here. And then shift them as we go. I mean, I could go hit and strike someone, but... I'll bring your group over. Alright, your job is to tank the hits. And your job is to protect the front line. And your job is to shoot them. I'll put you in reserve. Now, deployables we have to keep over here. We'll hide them, and then we'll charge out at them as they turn around. It's so foggy they don't know we're here. And now they realize they're gonna turn around. Charge out. Because I don't see anything, any vision. Exchange of volleys. How are they matching my range though? I'm just kiting, I'm just walking into their range, I guess. Dude, I should have farther range than them. Ah, uh, I need a vision here. Shooting blind. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's where we want to hit. Slow it down. Oh, that's right. We're still trying to find this group. Good luck. Catching some of the shots that are short. Not great. Maybe I'll wait till they get over the hill. It's kind of putting. It's hard to hit them from here.
We can technically go harass. These get ready to flank. I thought they were going to charge up. My mistake. Now we're going to kite them around. You think we can't charge you? You're very mistaken. We have much better charge than you do. Right, here they come. Slow it down on that hill. That's where they shall all die. Alright, do some flank shots. You guys, I'm gonna call you guys for rotate this way. You know, when they send sword units at me, okay, I gotta micro this group a little bit too. I feel like I can just charge them. Drop. Good luck. Wait, why didn't they? Oh, they lost vision. Fire well. Spear wall is forming, but I think it's a little bit late for them. Alright, start pulling. So I think the enemy army is wrecked, I think is how we should put it. Oh, Taoying himself. Time for him to vanish as our cavalry overwhelmed them. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys want a piece of this. Alright, we got them. Fun times. Alrighty. First contact with Taoyin's forces went pretty well. Uh, we're gonna release him. I can't catch them, but I think my job here is done. We can turn north again. Or maybe reinforce here. They're going to be able to take care of business there. We need a few turn. One turn is good enough. Have this army here. They sail down. So I think Taimal has to suicide into us. Therefore, I think it's better for us to just go here. And this way we just recall our son, no need for him to do this anymore. And then we'll just watch him die here and then we'll clean everyone else up during the end turn. They're going to hold on to 
Uh, none over there. Oh, this is tempting. We give up mustering, but I don't think we need it anymore now that they're running away. We'll use that as our save. Alright, we're getting attacked down here again, but we can hold against that in the lumberyard especially. This one's not coming yet. Who leveled up? Hmm, we'll take this. Yeah, might as well at this point. Although, I could use another building slot first. Uh, we don't have enough money to rush, so we're not going to rush. out of cash mostly actually private workshop first and then in a little bit cheaper this way all right let's see if we need to cancel any buildings in case there's turncoats there is not okay so i think this means we can just grab the save point by moving this army out oh he doesn't have the highest capture chance but it's totally i would not really interested in capturing him i'm just hoping to get rid of the public water you know, penalty for having an enemy force inside our territory. That goes away. We can move back. Oh, actually, that's not going to get saved. But I think that's where things will stand. I think we'll come back here. I'm debating whether we should pull an offensive attack on them to get ourselves another chance of capturing because they can't run away from us and Jolyon can do it. And it's not like there's a traffic jam here anymore. The traffic jam had moved here, but we have a full stack here, so they can't really mess with us. I have a stack here. Not a full stack, but very strong stack and then we're also pushing out uh, into Bonzo's territory. Tai Ma lost all his land, Sun Quan lost all his land. Uh, we're advancing onto Cao Cao's territory in the Central Plains. He doesn't have much, five county man that he is. And then Zhang Chao Zhe Bu all will fall. We already beat back one army from Tao Ying uh, himself actually, he's trapped here. And then I think we can shift our armies north and crush the rest of his forces and Kong forces and take all this land too. So things will pick up as we move north, and uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, Lobe has land all over the place, uh, so we are going to probably summon a new army here next um, episode. Uh, Yue Jin still sitting on our bench doing nothing, so I think we'll pull him out and then form an army with him to help make the push north and uh, see where that takes us. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and see you all next time. Bye!